A little boy's foster parents are now in jail, charged in his death. The uncle of four-year-old James Reese says his family is now one step closer to justice. I do have a little bit of relief at the fact to know that the wheels of justice are turning in our favor now. And News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is live at police headquarters where the foster parents had their first appearance before a judge. Janice. They just had that first appearance in the last hour, but this all began a month ago when that little boy was fighting for his life. Police said today that it was his foster parents that led to his death. This four-year-old boy, James Reese, arrived at Wolfson's Children's Hospital fighting for his life. Six days later, he died from severe injuries. Police say his foster parents, 30-year-old Alexander Pino and 38-year-old Michelle Sipko, caused his death. Reese's uncle, Christopher Nastasi, recalls the day he learned his nephew had died. I was in a nightmare and that this was not true and that, um, yeah, that it was too horrific to believe. This arrest warrant says James Reese was taken to Wolfson's Children's Hospital unresponsive and needed life-saving surgery. His injuries prompted a call to the Department of Children and Families. Pino has been arrested for second-degree murder and aggravated child abuse. Sipko has been arrested for manslaughter and aggravated child neglect. Nastasi hopes this is the beginning of justice for his nephew. I do have a little bit of relief at the fact to know that the wheels of justice are turning in our favor now and that, you know, James will get justice and that his death was not overlooked and just set to the side. Justice for a little boy that police say was harmed by those that were supposed to protect him. And there was a neuropathologist that was consulted for this investigation and said they determined based on observation, this was undoubtedly a homicide. Coming up tonight at six, more details on some of the injuries this little child suffered before he passed away and more on what his uncle has to say about those accused of killing him. Reporting live at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office headquarters, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.